In the percents video, we talked about translating percent problems into equations. And the same kind of skills are useful for translating word problems into algebra. And a lot of the same lessons are going to apply, but let's just look at some examples to see how we do this translation. So what does this look like? 3 times the quantity 4x plus 6. Okay, well, they're telling us it's 3 times, and that means multiply this whole quantity. So it's just going to be 3 times 4x plus 6, which if we distributed it would be 12x plus 18. A number y decreased by 60. Okay, so we've taken some y and we're decreasing it by 60. So that's just going to be y minus 60. And you confirm this by plugging in, in a number for y and seeing what you get. So what, were, what if y were 100? Well, a number 100 decreased by 60. What's 100 decreased by 60? It's 40, right? So it makes sense here to do y minus 60. How about 5 less than k? You might look at this and look at the previous one and say, oh, well, this is just 5 minus k. Be very careful. For addition, it doesn't matter what order you put it in because it's commutative. You can just swap. You know, 2 plus 1 is the same thing as 1 plus 2. But 2 minus 1 is not the same thing as 1 minus 2. So the order matters for subtraction. And again, plug in a number for k, and I think it becomes clear. So let's make k 10. What is 5 less than 10? 5 less than 10 is 5, right? If we do 5 minus k or 5 minus 10, we're going to get negative 5. So the order of this is actually incorrect. We want this to actually be k minus 5, even though k comes later in the words. It's a bit strange. It's one of the harder ones. It doesn't come up too often, but just know that that's the case. So this is actually k minus 5. So for this one, x less than y, it is not x minus y. It's again y minus x, because you're taking y and you're going x less than it. So you're subtracting x away from y. So that's one of the tricky ones. Just be careful about that. 20 divided by y. Sometimes you'll see the quotient. Okay, well that's easy. 20 divided by y. And if they say the quotient of 20 divided by y, well then that's fine. Just 20 divided by y. How about 20 divided into a number n? Well here again the order is flipped, but this one's a bit easier to see. It's n divided by 20, right? We're dividing 20 into n. So n is a numerator, 20 is a denominator. Again, just like with the percents, when we see is is equal to, was, equals, has, this is where our equal sign goes. More than, sum, greater than, this is just going to be, you know, addition. And again, the order doesn't matter. 5 more than x would be 5 plus x, or x plus 5. It really doesn't matter. Uh, either one is the same, right? Because addition is commutative. Less than, difference, fewer than. Here is going to be, again, subtraction. Order matters, but here you can really just follow the order of the, the words. So, for instance, the difference of a and b would just be a minus b. And then the most important one probably is of, or if you see product, you know it's multiplied, but especially of. Of is where you put your multiply symbol in, and we saw examples of this in percents. For further examples in algebra, go ahead and see the video on translating words into equations. That's in the SAT Math Tactics series. It's available in the members area and also up free on YouTube and my site. So go ahead and check that out too uh, for more specific examples.